What's going on guys? Welcome back to Clash of Derek. So today is One High versus My Small for round four of the Clan War Leagues. And after that loss yesterday against Clan Krieg, we were demoralized a little bit. It was a tough loss and we're going to come back swinging here. We did have a little bit of a rough start to this war here, landing a one star to open it up. But we don't give up. We don't give in. We keep on fighting. Here's a score update. We are currently 25 with 12 attacks. We did land some triples and we're going to show those off for now and then we had the last few attacks of the war going in here before we close this out looking like we're going to win and regain our number one spot on the leaderboards but make sure you guys hit that like button hit that subscribe button and let's get into the action here all right guys we're going to kick it off with maddie j here and maddie j has cracked the code to bring down these island bases so he took one down very similarly in a previous war and he's going to do it very similarly today again. So he drops an E-Drag over there at 3 o'clock, taking those Archer Towers while he has some Bloods go in and snipe off the Archer Towers while the E-Drag is tanking. And that's going to allow him to clear out that entire corner. And now he uses the Wall Wrecker up at the top side, runs over the Army Camp, and it is aimed to run over the Inferno. So it's going to push right in there. He has P.E.K.K.A.s, Bowlers, and Healers coming in on the top side there with the Queen, the King, and the Grand Warden all going to push through there. The E-Drag pulled the Baby Dragon out of the CC. He has a couple balloons come out. Uh, I'm not sure why he put so many balloons there, but he's going to push through no problem. Maybe he's sniping off a defense there, I didn't see. But he is now pushing into the core of the base there. Double Ice Golem comes out of the CC. P.E.K.K.A. and Ice Golem come out of his own CC. Everything's getting frozen up all over the place as he pushes in, rages as he enters the core. Jump down towards the town hall, gets that rage into the middle and bouncing off of everything in there, completely gutting the core of this base here as he pushes through. And he only opens up access to the town hall with that jump, doesn't open up access to the to the inferno. He's going to walk right by the inferno using the warden ability to protect his healers as he passes. And everything's going to push out the backside of the base there. Pekka breaking out of the base up at 1030 there. Going to start working on the buildings there while the king and more Pekkas wrap up that direction and the queen actually takes the healers back here gonna push into the bottom of the base here takes out the enemy queen gonna step up so has the enemy king right there so she's in a little bit of trouble there she doesn't have an ability he still has a freeze so he's gonna push in and where do they use the freeze he's got a baby dragon in the tank notice that baby dragon it's got a very special purpose on this attack here he uses the king and the pekka's wrapping to the top side there there comes the baby dragon taking down the inferno and the queen is almost saved by a freeze down at the bottom there. He tried to save her, was a little bit late, but missed out on that. And the queen goes down. Healers are going to get taken out by some air traps as they move across the base there. Baby Dragon joining with the Pekkas and the King as they move into the final area here. It is just a matter of time now. They definitely have the force to get through this. Archer down at 4 o'clock trying to trim off the time. And he's pushing into the bottom of the base here. And he's got a... And the Pekkas are with that king there are going to start one-shotting every single building they approach even almost the walls there maybe a two shot on the walls between that whole group there they got a lot of punch and a lot of help as a pack there so they're going to push through no problem one-shotting that cannon and moving on into the storages there and the archer tower gonna to have to go back for that tesla though with uh 20 seconds left it is going to be a little bit of a time issue here but can he make it he steps up takes out the archer tower 15 seconds to reach the tesla and nope, there's a little bit more trash down at the bottom. He is not quite, he's not quite going to make it, guys. He's going to time fail on that Tesla. And that's going to be the end of this one with a 99% time fail for Maddie J. All right, so next let's check out JC here. And he's coming in with the drag bat here. And he's going to use a queen walk with this drag bat, which is something you don't see very often here. But he sees a queen path here that is not very damage intensive. So he can make it through that entire queen path without a rage. And that is exactly what he's going for here. Gonna start pushing her along that side there. And he's gonna have the dragons come in right for the town hall there. King funneling on the opposite side there as he pushes into the base there. Rage over the town hall, gets through the CC no problem. Just a baby dragon comes out. Probably an ice golem or a double ice golem inside of there remaining in there because he's not gonna send his heroes into that CC range there. Queen's going to continue traveling that edge, never step into the channel there because the dragons are going to clear out in front of her, and he's about ready for the bats to come down. Here they come. Bats, then freeze, and they got some... Has he got a rage down? I don't think he has a rage down. Just the bats and the freeze, and he's going to start moving to the backside of the base. There is one more freeze there, and where is he going to use it? 
Watch that swarm of bats. Watch it. Watch it. And oh, actually, he uses the he uses the freeze to freeze the air defense there, and the that's gonna make the little balloons can clear out the bottom side of the base there. I thought he was gonna use it on the wizard tower to continue that bat swarm as he moved through the base there, but he gets the air defense down, and those balloons are gonna be able to clear out. But all the dragons are down now. But he still has the queen. The entire base is gutted, so there's only a little bit of damage around the perimeter there, and the queen can engage them one at a time without any spell support. She still has her ability, and she can work her way all the way around. That wizard over there doing work at uh, 6 o'clock has it wrapped around as well, and they're going to step up, take out the final defenses, and clear out the trash there, and land in a 3-star for JC here. So very, very nice hit by JC and good recognition to see that Queen Walk was an available path that she could go through unthreatened and go wrap up what the Dragons could not and get the three star in this one. Very nice hit, JC. Alright guys, next up is Daniel Jr. So he's coming in with the mass E-Drags. So how do you choose your strategy for a base like this? Well, first of all, with the exposed Town Hall, and we know that the CC is probably double Ice Skull and Baby Dragon because all of their other bases have been, then we can kind of limit down what strategy you want to choose. So if the Town Hall is on the outside, then it's going to eliminate Wall Wrecker strategies. We don't want to attack opposite of the Town Hall. That is too much risk, especially in this format. We don't have the push to make it all the way through, and it's not a risk we're willing to take. So we will use our heroes to sui and take the Town Hall whenever possible, and then use a strategy that doesn't rely on uh, attacking opposite of the Town Hall. So in this case, E-Drags is one of those options. And with the with the Baby Dragon and Double Ice Column in the CC, if we can sui our heroes outside of the CC range, we can go in and never actually pull those Ice Columns out of the CC, and the air troops that move in will not as well. So that kind of pushes us down to, do we want to do an Electron? Do we want to do a Drag Bat? Or do we want to do E-Drags? And it's a, if you don't see a good option for a bat bomb location or a good spot to get the bats through the base there and you don't see a good electron position to take out the queen then sometimes you just kind of take a gamble here and throw in the mass e-drags and see if they can make it through in this case he doesn't have chain access to the backside air defense over at three o'clock gets a little bit unlucky on the uh, entry there and loses a couple dragons to an air defense that stood up for a little bit too long. Lucky he got some chains and took it out. He's got Troll Tesla over in the corner there. Another Troll Tesla up at 12 o'clock there and he had the Teslas over by the town hall that the queen dealt with and he's going to be able to push through with uh, plenty of troops left here. He still has a king there so they're going to be able to push in and take out that last air defense and just overwhelm it with what is remaining. So sometimes you just got to take a gamble and just throw the mass e-drags on it based on how this the town hall and the CC are set up. So if you have a good option, or if they have eliminated all the other good options, then sometimes this one might turn into the best one. So Daniel Jr. takes the gamble, and it pays off for him here with a little bit of a spam attack and lands in a second triple for one hive here. So very nicely done, Daniel Jr. All right, next up we got Chubbs coming in here, and he's going to come in with the Queen Charge Minor attack here. So he's going to start it off trying to snipe off that Archer Tower. Can he get all the way? And he's under a lot of fire there, draws the CC. Baby Dragons comes in behind and takes out the barracks there, and he doesn't get the Archer Tower. So he's at a little bit of a risk here of the Queen walking because of that Archer Tower. So he starts her anyways. He doesn't have a backup plan to get past that Archer Tower if she walks the wrong way here. He used up all of his balloons. They weren't quite enough to get in there. Those double Expos with the Inferno were just too much and brought them down before they got the Archer Tower down. So now, is she going to walk? No, she's going the right direction. She's going towards the Town Hall here. And maybe that was a change, and on the fly he changed it. I don't know which way he was actually planning on coming in, but he's now coming in at the Town Hall, finds a Tesla farm on Sentry there. He has a P.E.K.K.A. and a Wizard working up on the top side there, clearing out the trash there, and forcing the Queen to follow that Wall Wrecker into the base there after the Town Hall. Out comes a Lava Hound, and the Lava Hound is going to tie the Queen for a long time, but it is not going to tie up the CC troops like the Double Ice Column would. So... 
they're going to step up and start working on the enemy king there. Popping some skelly traps. He has uh, hounds going everywhere, or hound pups, I mean, going all over the place there. Pekka still working on the outside. Going to get taken down by the defenses and the lava pups. The poison is down. Going to deal with a lot of those lava pups and get that queen back in her action here as she steps up into the town hall. And it's just about time to start the miners now. Coming up on that minute and a half mark into the raid here. And she's going to take out the town hall first. Yep, he's going to wait for her to bring down the town hall. Make sure that town hall goes down. And she's into the gut of the base. They're going to go after that eagle. She's had access to another inferno. All kinds of stuff there. Now the miners are coming in. King over at 4 o'clock. Going to clear out the trash. Walk that whole side there. As the miners push in after the inferno. The queen turns back around. Goes for some of the compartment that the miners are coming in at. And gets stalled up there. She's going to attack a wall for a little bit. And break through there. So not the smartest queen in the world there. She could have got a huge value if she stepped forward and didn't follow the miners over to the 9 o'clock or 3 o'clock corner. I mean, speaking of 9 o'clock, look at the archer going into town over there at 9 o'clock, working through those trash buildings, going to save some time for the miners. Those who have been working since the start of the raid there. Miners sweep to the backside and clearing out the whole 6 o'clock corridor. The queen turns back around, finally goes for the inferno and brings it down. And she's going to work her way into the backside of the base here. Everything wrapping into 9 o'clock here. Warden taking some damage. He's going to go down now. And he loses another healer to a black mine as the queen steps into the final area there. And she's got one healer hanging on. But all the defenses are down now. Miners pushing into the backside. Looking like another triple. And Chubbs is bringing it in hard as we wrap up this war. And we are going to end this. Uh, looks like 31 to 29 now. But it's a uh, it was just should put us back in first place. But oh, what? No, no, we are 99% time fail. Chubbs fall is just short, and that's gonna end the day at 30:29. All right, guys, that was so close. I thought he had the triple there, but I guess he did not. So we are still gonna move back into first place with this win. And tomorrow we go to fight Marshall's army. So make sure you're back here tomorrow. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you guys in the next one.